Hey guys, King of Charmers here to be your judge, your jury, and your analyst, and today I bring to you Cobalion as a sea switch So, many many moons ago, I was actually a pretty dang hardcore raider, and I actually went after Verizion and Cobalions a lot. Just for the shiny. And this was way early back then when it first freaking came out. So yeah, back when people still had to go around with their friends to raid, and remote raiding didn't exist. But I had enough candy to get a Cobalion for Go Battle League in Ultra League now that it has Sacred Sword and buffed with the new double kick move, making it a top five mod and for a safe switch anyways. But Cobalion, actually overall, I think it's like top seven. Yeah, let me double check. I think it's like top seven. Uh, let's see, overall, Cobalion, never mind. It's a top five mod. It's a top five. Yeah, it's top five. Top 5 and one of the best safe switches in... One of the best leads and safe switches in the brand new meta. Standing at number 3 in the lead and also one of the best safe switches at number 6. And this, I will use it as a safe switch and testing out as Cobalion. Is it really one of the best safe switches in this meta? I don't know, we're gonna find out. But before we get started, this is going my therapist mental health tip of the day. And speak, since we are talking about meta and about safe switches... I'm going to tell you about the- oh wait, hold on, before I have to- I have to do my blurb. If you are not interested in anything psychoeducation-wise, etc. or therapy, go ahead and skip two minutes ahead or go to the chapters and skip forward. For people that complain about this, I have no idea. I literally have to do this blurb because there are idiots that post in my comments that are like, We don't like you talking about this. Well, guess what? Go talk to another person who's going to lie to you and tell you to be positive when everything's not okay. Anyways, instead of roasting my audience, here you go. This, for those of you that are interested, and most a lot of you do and you like this, it's called evidence-based practice. So just like how Pokemon Go has a meta, there's meta in therapy. And the meta in therapy nowadays is evidence-based therapy practices. So there's a huge push in the movie psychology that aims to track the efficient the efficacy the efficacy of treatment plans which is the goal of providing climates with treatments that hold solid evidence backing their effectiveness evidence-based practices are actually have they actually have studies so they're actually studied and proven to actually work which is people are like oh my god therapy doesn't work you know therapy happened down in the 90s and was monetized to hell in america because of the fact that studies showed that therapy actually worked and it was all the way back in World War II. But it's EBT or evidence-based therapy is more broadly referred to as evidence-based practice is a therapy that's shown to be effective in peer-reviewed scientific experiments. Basically, they're one of the, yes, they're, they've been proven to work, which is why there's this huge push towards evidence-based practices, which is why a lot of clinicians, including me, do evidence-based practices. For me, I use solutions-focused therapy or solutions-focused brief therapy, which is an evidence-based practice. So. If you ever go to therapy, etc., your player, wherever place you go to, they might do a lot of evidence-based practices as well. So go and take a look at this article if you're curious about it. And who knows, you might actually be doing this in therapy. And without further ado, this is my feature on Cobalion as one of the best mons in Open Ultra League today. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, here are the battles. So. Don't expect me to know too much about Cobalion right away because when I started playing Cobalion- Oh wait, that's too close. I was like, oh, this thing's actually really bulky. So we have Muck on a Trev. I actually lose this because Muck has Dark Pulse. So I actually try to catch a Dark Pulse, but my opponent did actually throw the Thunder Punch. So I was like, okay, so we got, we're starting off with Legend on Legend action and I'm losing the lead. That's, that's great. But I just realized how much of a beast Cobalion is. Sacred Sword does a ton of damage when you get stabbed and it only takes three double kicks for you to get to one. As you see here, we do a quarter or like a third of Swampert's health. And we get to it so quickly that my opponents, uh, that my opponents, I might be able to actually take back Switch here. So with a, the thing about Trev versus Muck, I try to catch a Dark Pulse because Dark Pulses are very irresist, Cobalion resistant because of fighting types. As you see, it can take a whole Hydro Cannon. I'm thinking whether I want a shield or not, but I actually just let it go. The thing is, I actually want extra farm on my Trevenant and I want to save my shields for Trial and Flame. So as you see here, I'm going for the farm down. Swampert shouldn't be able to get to a, an Earthquake or Sludge Wave. So I'm not going to shield anything here. I'm just going to farm it down and then come out with energy lead. And as you see, they switch into muck, which is actually great. I'm hoping that I can get, I can break both of their, my opponent's shields or this shadow ball goes through and it does. I try to be fancy here and I try to actually get two incinerates through. My opponent is able to actually thunder punch. So I have to start giving up shield at this point. 
The good thing is they won't be able to get to another move. And I'm going to be able to just absolutely wipe my opponent from the face of the earth because they actually have a Trevenant in the back. So all we're going to do is we're going to flame charge our way to victory. Mind you, these are really going to add up. Also, that Swampert is practically dead. So I don't even need to worry about my opponent switching in because that Swampert might not be able to get to another move here. C-Bomb goes off. It was good on my opponent to be able to grab that bait though. Because of that, they might actually get to a Shadow Ball. So this is a little dangerous here. Flame Charge is going to go off. My opponent will shield. But because of the fact that they, this might actually be a Shadow Ball. So I'm like, ooh, this might be a little bad. So my opponent balls out, and unfortunately my burb turns into the next thing on KFC, the KFC line, and I grab a little bit of energy here just to fire a seed bomb. This seed bomb should kill, but it should only take one shadow claw. I'm only one shadow claw away from taking out that swampert in the back, and that should be game. Or two. Or two. But as you see here, Trev resists mud shot, so I was fully confident that I would be able to come out with a win condition. Next up we got Trevenant on to Reggie Rock. This is actually not that great. Reggie Rock is actually decently tanky, and Stone Edges, for some god awful reason, do so much damage. As you see here, that Stone Edge comes through. The freaking. I don't know where the hell the pillar comes from, but oh my god, that was a lot of damage. And they swap into Obstagoon and catch this Seed Bomb. Good on my opponent. Unfortunately, I send in Cobalion. So, like, alright, let's go. And as you see here, my opponent is forced to either let go of a full. Opsagoon, well not a full Opsagoon, let go of a whole Opsagoon or they're going to shield. And as you see, Opsagoon goes down. Now my opponent has to contend to a Trevenant with some energy and I get a Buzzwall. So this is actually really interesting here. This is the first time I've seen a Buzzwall in Open Ultra League and I'm like, okay, you know what? I know you have lunge and superpower. My opponent likely is going to superpower me, hence you see the lunge right here. And I'm going to hit him with the Stone Edge. Stone Edge does a lot of damage. And it's neutral because of the fact that Buzzwool is a bug and fighting type, and it does a decent amount of damage. I send in Talonflame, and this is really rough for my opponent. Because Talonflame walls anything this Buzzwool has to offer. As you see, they try to lunge me, and then they send in Regirock. Here's what's scary, though. My, my tree is literally hanging by a thread. It will die to one stone edge, so I'm hoping I'm able to get the three seed bombs here and take out this Reggie Rock. My opponent didn't get any extra energy, so I'm thinking, so I'm pretty sure I should be able to get to two. My win condition here is already straight ahead. I must take out this Reggie Rock with seed bombs, or I'm gonna hopefully get it low enough to where one flame charge can actually KO it. However, this is still really rough because of the fact that it's a freaking Red Rock and it charges really fast. Not only that, it's also shiny. So my opponent be mad flexing today. Tan Red Rock is going to take me out. And as you see, I'm able to get to the C bomb. Unfortunately, in the yellow, this won't kill. So I am hoping they don't get to another move. I can't swap out because one Stone Edge will yeet my talent frame in the face of the earth and will send it to the next like KFC dumpster or whichever, whichever when you like, but because of this, it's okay, and that's GG's, because, yeah, there's really nothing they can do. They're nearly dead, that would have gone through, farm it down, and then I just literally burp whatever's in the back of the dub. And as you see, for the third battle, we get a Melmetal. Dude, Melmetal used to be meta. Keyword used to. Melmetal used to be literally, if y'all played in seasons one through four, or even, yeah, season one and two, Melmetal was good, man. It was one of the best, one of the absolute best picks in open great league for a very very long time up until xls came out and then as you see here red <laughs> even though it's it, it's trying it's trying its best okay and then they send in a sylveon which is great because you know we got talon flame this is what we have talon flame for the board that's what we have talon flame for because it's a flower it's able to take on those fighters and i absolutely despise charmers as you know so all we're gonna do is literally light this poor Sylveon on fire, and I'm having a great time here. I'm, I don't, this is likely gonna be a side stock, so I'm gonna shield. I want to fully farm down this Sylveon so that I still have this, I'm still gonna be able to have all of this energy in the back. And I'm actually able to come out with literally a bazillion energy. <laughs> I'm coming out with 100. So I have 100 energy now, and my opponent is definitely going to have shield whatever comes in. Unless they have an XL Rakuten, then I'm screwed. Or an Ultra League Rakuten, then I'm screwed. But as I expected, the Metal Metal comes in. And then I'm going to just double. I'm just going to go ahead. Because they fired late, that incinerate goes through. I shield this, that Metal Metal will go down. 
So as you see, I'm just absolutely finishing the unholy crap on my opponent. And there's a Drapion, which is absolutely great because Cobalion will actually wall Drapion. Fighting resist dark and steel resist poison. So I literally wall this XL Drapion. Congratulations, you're using the inaccessible XL. I'm using the accessible one because Talonflame has a community and it's been out for a while. So I'm gonna hit you with this Hurricane 69420 Suburban and then you go down and I am absolutely loving the fact that I won that. GG's. Now we got to Legend on Legend Accent and we got the Finny where we wanted to. Welcome to the Tapu Finny and we got Red to Steel. And now you're about to see how Cobalion can absolutely just absolutely shred Reggie Steel in half with these sacred swords. So yes, what well, the ironic thing is that we will get hit, like one focus blast will do super damage against us. But as you see, Cobalion is actually really freaking bulky. So the game plan here is to not, yeah, I got Zap Cannon and luckily they didn't debuff me. But even though Reggie Steel has been nerfed, it's still incredibly powerful in this meta. So yeah, it's literally a giant trash can. And for Ultra League, it's excessive trash cans. But as you see here, all we're going to do is we're going to fire these sacred swords. We're going to try to take out this Registeel. And we do. And they send in a Talon Flame, and my brain is like, oh god, no. Okay, so I'm going to have to get to a Stone Edge. One Stone Edge will put this Talon Flame in the danger zone. Unfortunately, I'm unable to fire it, so I'm going to let go of it. Or Galbalion is so bulky, it actually lives. This will yeet this Talon Flame in the fist yet, and I'm hoping my opponent actually knows this is a Stone Edge. And as you see, Stone Edge goes through and takes out our poor little soul here. And he just tops up because you already know it's game over. And that's GG's. Yes, that was RPS, but hey, you're the one using top of Finny, dude. I actually don't have Finny. So yeah, blah. Power of Cobalion. Get Cobalion. And now, for the last battle, we have one of the worst leads we could possibly get in an Obstagoon. But Cobalion is literally one of the most goaded safe switches of all time. Literally top three in open Ultra League. So, we're going to Sacred Sword, the unholy crap. Uh, well, not Sacred Sword. We're going to send in a stone from literal Earth onto this freaking Venusaur. And Venusaur will take this giant bone up its butt. Okay, that was actually really wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, where the hell does Stone Edge come from? Well, seriously, it comes from like the bottom of like right there. But the good thing is, is I actually resist everything this Venusaur has to offer because it's a steel type. But as you see, Frenzy Plant still does a ridiculous amount of damage. I'm going to fire a Sacred Sword, hoping I break a shield and then fire another Stone Edge. But this is vital that I get this. And I do. So that's absolutely great that I'm able to get the Sacred Sword off. I go for another one. I'm just being really ballsy here. You know what I mean? It's like All Might. The United States is smashed. And I'm planning is to smash this Venusaur to the next freaking dimension. And unfortunately, that does not go through. But that's okay because we have Obstagoon. I want to win alignment anyways here. So I'm going to go ahead. I want actually, I actually want this extra energy. I'm hoping to be able to farm down. And I do. And I have a lot of energy on my Cobalion. So they sent in Obstagoon, which kind of makes me scratch my head because Obstagoon is going to take big damage from these Sacred Swords. But we win back alignment, which is great. So I keep this Obstagoon away from my Trevenant, which is amazing. So since we won back alignment, we possibly have a win condition here. Sacred Sword goes through, does big damage against the freaking Obstagoon. We get farmed down, but I'm going to send in Town Flame. And one is is going to go through, as you see. And then, this, well, that actually won't kill Obstagoon. It'll live by like 1 HP, or this might possibly take it out. And as you see, it does live with 1 HP, sadly. Now, here's the problem here. I going to, I can eat one Surf from Lapras, because Surf doesn't do a ton of damage. So I'm just going to go straight to Flame Charge here. And then I'm going to send in Trevenant. If this thing has Ice Beam, this is going to really suck, but C-Bomb should go through. And then I should be able to just try to make something happen. But unfortunately, my opponent actually doesn't have Ice Beam, which is great because that means I should be able to C-Bomb here. And my opponent is in the danger zone. They probably, and I literally just have the Shadow Claw down or I'm going to be able to just literally incinerate you to death. I hope y'all enjoyed the battle. So here, Cobalion is a top three save switch, one of the best in open Ultra League. And as you see here, it does a lot of freaking work. And I am actually wrong. That Obstagoon is alive. So I'm going to hit the C bomb. That should be GG's my moment. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the battles. I hope y'all enjoyed the spice. Cobalion is freaking amazing. And I hope y'all enjoyed the showcase of a freaking Sacred Sword Cobalion. And it's amazing for open Ultra League. And that's game. I'm probably going to be going off in a, or trying to play and do more open Ultra League stuff because as much as I hate it, this cup is probably going to come back and I'm going to try to find something that decently works for me. Open Ultra League used to be my favorite cup. Keyword is used to, and then it turned into one of my most hated cups because of the fact, yeah.
because of all the new XLs running around, particularly like XL Scrafty, XL Jelly, X, oh god, XL Scrafty, XL Jelly, XL Drapion, there, XL Needle Queen. Yeah, there's just so many XLs running around. It's absolutely insane in Open Ultra League. XL Deoxys Defense is probably the big pay to win one that you just don't see coming, but hey, you know what? It's out there. And there are people I've seen, I definitely have seen a lot of them. But, and in the top teams, you see XL Ready Steals to Oblivion. So it's not even a joke. XLs are here to stay and they're for Open Ultra League. It's absolutely terrible. Hopefully we never have this happen ever again where people are forced to play Open Ultra League for literally two weeks. At least in Master League, you only have one week of Master League or Master Premier Classic. And then after that, you have the Evolution Cup. So yeah, three weeks without a Great League format. It's absolutely suffering and... I probably shouldn't play it, but I'm doing it just for practice because I'm trying to find a consistent team that works for me because I don't typically switch teams a lot. If something's not working, I found out why it's not working. That's why I've made Legend in all three formats. And that's why I've made a top teams in all three formats and breaking Master League, the only person to break open Master League Classic when I was when back in the day in Season 1. Nobody found it out. I did. And then Palkia and Groudon being buffed ruined by... Ruined it. Absolutely ruined it. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope y'all enjoyed Season 12. If not, don't fret. Ultra Premier Classic is coming back pretty soon. It's actually a really great meta. And there's not... Yeah. It's actually a pretty dang great meta in comparison to what you're suffering now for this week with the Weather Cup and Open Great League. But without further ado, do me a huge favor. Please like, subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. I'm going to... I stream on Friday through Sunday on Twitch. So I'm glad I see some of y'all there. Good luck on your go battle tips. And I will see y'all on the next video. Ciao!